At the age of six months, babies usually move their hands or legs or turn over. But my son Ravi was doing no movements physically. Slowly he grew one year old, but even then he was not moving his hands, neither legs. Then we showed him to a doctor. The doctor suggested us to take our son to Calcutta, to a bigger hospital. Then we took him to Relief Society Hospital in Calcutta, tested and then took an x-ray. Then they suggested us blood test. I thought, how much will it cost for an ordinary blood test? After they made the bill for the blood test, it was 13,000 Indian rupees, that is 260 US dollars. Then we caught the feet of the doctor and begged him that we cannot pay him so much. Then the doctor agreed for 3,000 Indian rupees, that is 60 dollars. After the test, the doctor declared that he is mentally handicapped. The tests went on in the hospital for more than one month. His whole brain was scanned. The reactions due to medication were so severe that my son couldn't able to see and his body became weak. He couldn't speak. He couldn't even eat, neither swallow his food. For several minutes, he kept the food in his mouth. My son was unable to talk, neither he was able to walk. If we made him sit, he would sit there without moving forever, taking his tongue out. Then we came to know about Lord Jesus Christ and took him to church. After attending Pastor Arvind Ephraim's prayer and healing services in the church, my son slowly started speaking. From the time we started growing in Lord Jesus Christ and going to church, my son Ravi laughs, plays, talks, runs and does everything. Now he draws water from the water well by himself. He plays with neighbor kids. Now we attend all our church services without fail and when our pastor Arvind Ephraim asks my son to read the Bible in the church, he reads in English. We are so happy and thankful to Lord Jesus Christ for my son's healing. Today we are so happy by Lord Jesus Christ's grace. See we have to always keep trusting Jesus and keep on going. The Bible says that I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that heals you. He still heals us today. In case of Ravi, when he was when he was brought to us, when he was very very, he couldn't able to walk first. Then gradually after prayer he started walking. Then he couldn't able to speak. Then after gradually prayer he started speaking. And now he's going to school. So the parents believed that Ravi would definitely be healed. Their parents believed that Lord Jesus is going to heal their son Ravi. And now you see the result that Ravi is healed. It took time. So, when you trust Jesus, He will never fail us.